Yeah. And now that I know it's not going to be video, I could bring it closer. And yeah, you can. NPR be... jazz tone. The idea actually came from a project that I was working on for graduate school where I had to interview teachers. And in these interviews, I was trying to find what teachers value in their professional lives and in their personal lives. Whether we like it or not, we live in a society that's built on Hollywood and pop culture. Absolutely. And if we want a seat at the main table, we have to play the game. And it was actually my friend Jordan at the end of our interview who made the comment, this should be a podcast. It's like the exact opposite of what we should be doing. Like we should be encouraging mistakes because that's how you learn. That's how you grow and change. And Jordan, of course, was my first choice for a co-host. But as he said in his own words, he overbooked himself this school year. It, it might be challenging for the teacher because I think teachers are control freaks. And although I perform really well in front of crowds, especially a classroom full of students, I'm pretty introverted in social situations. So I really wanted a co-host. And luckily, I'm married to a very extroverted conversationalist. This is the point of this thing I think that we're doing is we're like, we got to spotlight this. We got to make sure people understand, like, this is the type of passion that's out there. So now my husband, Anthony, and I sit down every Saturday night and talk to teachers. It's teaching without children being impeded by, by adults, by constant information, constant bombardment of what they need to do. We're so willing to learn, even from home. Like, I just, that excites me. Anyway, that was a, that was a very long rant. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys. I see you getting fired up. I like that. <laughs> and we record the conversations and publish them for you all to listen to. And fair warning, it gets a little silly. This is why I always make the point that women have three holes. <laughs> but that's kind of the point. Teachers are not robots. We have feelings, opinions, families, hobbies, things going on in our personal lives. And sometimes it feels like the community doesn't remember that. I've always heard stories that teachers wouldn't get paid enough. Teachers would always, you know, you would hear all these stories about, you know, parents didn't like teachers, students didn't like teachers. They were so like, un, you know, they weren't appreciated in our society. And we'd like to invite you to come listen in on these conversations. Come laugh with us, cry with us, become passionate with us, and just learn more about who teachers are. We are Educators Not Robots, the podcast that humanizes the educational experience. Episodes premiere every Sunday at 8 a.m. on most podcasting platforms. And thanks for listening. Leave a comment. Um, give us reviews. Thanks. <laughs>